How's it going? Kelly Ritchie here. I'm in the studio this afternoon. Actually, I've been here most of the day. And I'm working on a new song. Um, I've released 11 CDs um, myself with my band, uh, Session Players, throughout the years. Uh, many of which have uh, original material on them. Um, from our last three CDs, two of those were all original. Uh, Carry the Light and Speechless. But I've just uh, come off the road for a year. And um, I am in the studio now to kind of refresh and write. And I have 18 new songs as of the last couple of months. I just started my sabbatical this week, uh, just uh, this past Monday. And this is Thursday, February the 4th. So um, from November, beginning of November through now, I have uh, approximately 18 new musical pieces some of which are getting close to being finished. Some are uh, ideas that um, I hear all kinds of directions that they can go, and I'll get there. Um, this one here is probably the first song that I will complete and uh, put up with the release of our new website. The website will be going live sometime next week um, by Valentine's Day, is my hopes. So uh, this first song is called um, It's Our World. And um, I'm writing right now in, in a program called Live, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. It allows me, I have some foot pedals here on the floor that you cannot see. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get some footage of that and blend these together before I put it up. But either way, there's a MIDI foot controller. And it allows me to turn on and off tracks so I can play a guitar. Um, it's like a loop station. Live acts like a loop station. I can kick on a track, play a rhythm part, kick on another track, play a lead over that, kick on a track, grab the microphone, sing, click on another track, put a harmony, uh, play drums. I can have a click that only I hear in my headphones and that the audience or that, you know, is not broadcast live in the studio. Um, I can hear that for as long as I need it, program drum parts, uh, lay down keyboards, guitar, whatever order I want to work in. If a guitar track comes to me first, I think, oh, that's an idea. I'll get a, uh, I'll tap in the click time so I have it to real time. Anything I add to it um, will be able to sync up. So Live is a real fun program. I'm a Macintosh user, so I've used Logic for years. And if I were to record a band, do a record um, using, you know, live instrumentation, I would definitely use Logic for that for more of a traditional type recording. But for writing and for creating soundscape, ambient, uh, music, the stuff that I'm doing now is blues-based rock meets ambient, soundscape, atmospheric type music. Uh, maybe I'll come up with a name for it before it's all over. But um, it allows me to write in different scenes. Each line, I'm not sure how much of this is showing up on my on your screen, but uh, I can click and my first scene plays, which is just uh, what I'm calling an intro. And it just loops. I could get up, take a walk, come back. This is just going to loop round and round and round. Click on the next scene. Basically the same thing with percussion added. Click on the next scene. There's two guitar parts going to the back. The next scene actually has vocals. Saying the low harmony, I hit record again, saying the high harmony. All of this was kind of stream of consciousness, just kind of fell out on the page as it was coming to me. And then uh, later I went back in and added two other harmonies, and those are coming in. Uh, why? Here we go. Come in and sing. So those are all of the different elements in kind of the core of the song, and then I have an instrumental breakdown that I'll switch to. So 
uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I grew up playing piano, so keyboards is something that I'm very familiar with. Um, I played drums for a number of years, um, gigged out as a drummer five nights a week, five, six nights a week, uh, actually in a country band back right out of high school. And uh, so drums, I love to play the drums. I uh, would hire me as a drummer. I'm not uh, in practice by any means, but I love the drums. And so I can program all that stuff here. I can just tap it out in real time. Um, this program is so much fun. Um, I will be moving all of this to my laptop, putting it in my travel bag, and going and doing shows with it. I hope to incorporate this setup into the band uh, when I come back. That's not to say that I will use it all the time with the band or in every song by any means, but um, I'm able to get what's in my head out. I'm able to have a lot of fun and play guitar to exactly what I'm hearing. And for me, that's a big benefit. Um, I love being in a band. I love dealing with the moment, the way it presents itself, the good, the bad, the great, the ugly, you know, all, all about that live experience, you know, where it's like, oh, okay, here we go. You know, but this is um, just between me, myself, and I, and the things that uh, all these years that I've been putting 30, 40, 50,000 miles on the road, all of those songs I kept hearing in my head, all those things that, man, if I just had more time in the studio, this is what I'd love to come do. And um, thanks to um, Ableton Live and my good friend Robbie Ryder, who has been teaching me how to use the software, getting me up to speed, um, helping me get all this stuff working together. Uh, it was difficult finding a, a foot pedal, a MIDI controller that would send uh, mini notes out and he knew the secret to that actually he has a guy that's built him a pedal specially designed for him and supposedly those are going to go into production for the rest of us here at some point in the future so I'll keep posted on that um, but this is it so it's our world uh, a little snippet of that song and um, just want to let you know what's happening in my world today alright have a great day bye